happened to Tony? Something happened. Something happened. On the weekend, you're at a park doing some homework, practicing your best lurking under people's beds poses. This is spooky high, after all. When you're greeted by the sound of plus money waiting to happen. Ooh. Sup, motherfucker, get ready for... Oh, wait, are these all three of my characters? <laughs> oh, no, I can do one of them if you want. Here, take the werewolf. Okay. Uh, a dope business idea. Brought to you by Team Best Business People. Scott, I told you, we're not doing team names. What we're doing is getting ready to recruit investors. We have the greatest improvement. We're going to reinvent the wheel. Except in this case, the wheel's a bucket. We're reinventing the bucket. Is that what her voice was? I don't know. So <laughs> I realize that buckets can be pretty extreme if they're big enough. But are they ever really big enough? No, because buckets have bottoms. And that means that they can only hold as much as goes between the top and the bottom. So if we just remove the bottom of the bucket, then the amount of water the bucket can hold would be unlimited. Uh, yep, that sounds totally correct and like the perfect plan for sure. Yep, no downsides here. So now we just need to have a super wealthy investor who can sponsor the manufacturing of our dream bottomless bucket for us. How do I put this delicately? Do you know anyone that's fucking loaded? Uh, you check your phone. Vera would never invest in this. Miranda. No, she's already investing in a bucket company. So it'd be a <laughs> conflict of interest. That leaves you with Fee and Mal. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, man. Very good. Uh, let's see here. Fee is your dude. Uh, <laughs> he's the Invent one. subway delays. And subsequently invested in cab companies. The most perfect scheme of all time. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Oh, boy. You call Fee, and uh, he accepts your offer to fund this venture. He invests part of his savings to hire a business consultant to help you become rich. Unfortunately, he doesn't have as much money oh, as yeah, you expected. Yeah. So the consultant is actually a bunch of raccoons he put together inside of a business suit. So far, the best business advice this consultant has given you is rabies. Ah! Not rabid raccoons! I hate rabid raccoons! And they definitely don't like me! What's this? We don't need an investor to gather a bunch of rabid raccoons in a suit. That's basically a Wednesday for us. Thanks for nothing. Oh no. Bro! These raccoons aren't friendly! This is not cool! Yeah, Scott's right. This is totally not cool. We just forfeit 20% equity of our company in exchange for some rabid raccoons? Not a smart move. Also, rabid raccoons! Uh, Damien and Scott are busy fighting the raccoons, but no doubt they'll find time later on to dislike both of you. Ply doesn't care about them since she's a ghost, but she's definitely disappointed. Overall, you lose minus two smarts, minus one money for the funds you spend on rabid raccoons. Oh, that sucks. And everyone hates I me. I have minus one money. <laughs> Everybody chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. All right. Uh, a, a, a sandwich that you've been waiting for, but you open it and you realize it's moldy. <gasps> like Tom Cruise in Minority Report. Yeah. Uh, you're bit by a duck. <laughs> Restaurants that don't label their food. Oh, fee! <laughs> okay. Player orders decide based on how much your country needs a minister of... of fee wins. Of it's straight up, it's straight <laughs> up Fiona's what your, the winner. What was yours again? A minister of places that don't label their food. <laughs> so that so that, that problem can be corrected. Wait, are you suggesting a minister of being bit, for being bitten by ducks <laughs> would not be valuable? No! I mean, it would, but I, I'm more invested in Fiona's I mean, idea. our country needs a minister of being bitten by ducks because it would take money away from all the other terrible shit it's doing. Right, maybe that some, of, <laughs> some of our massive military budget will be spent on training ducks how to bite. Yeah, it's it's too real. Uh, mm. But right. who, who's the second Who's the one? second? I don't know. Mine was about a moldy sandwich. Uh, minister, minister of moldy. keeping uh, your food from of going... Of keeping Tom Cruise healthy. No, 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 of keeping <laughs> your food from spoiling when you're no, excited for it. No, I'm going to give you it. second for keeping Tom Cruise healthy. Okay, fine. That's 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 how that goes. All right. It's morning. Morning. Time to go, 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 go to school. Uh, I am broke. Oh, I, you're I went super to class broke. already. Yeah. Um, I feel like I should. Oh, I see. We're I in week two already. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's not okay. every day. You get like a couple actions a week. I still have a corpse. According oh, yeah. to my little icon over there. I wonder what the corpse is. Go to I'm that go. icon over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go outdoors. <sighs> Hell yeah. Corpse. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full. Oh, crazy. shit. You're talking to Juan, the small magical Latino cat, when he tells you that he won't be ever as fun as Bob the Scary Clown. <laughs> you accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob, stab him several times, open his bleeding chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. 
Really? Do you think that's how this works? Well, it is. You gain plus two fun from poor <laughs> Bob. Oh, boy. While doing all that, you've been carrying your newly acquired corpse as if it were totally a normal thing to do. <laughs> but some people seem to think otherwise. Oh no, it's the four most hateful people in the school. Why are you carrying a corpse, idiot? Ugh, what a shameful display of distaste. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a noob. Carrying our corpses is for noobs. Oh, corpse. I love corpses, and I'm super drunk. Okay, the three of the most hateful people in school and Polly. <laughs> As the school's social elite, we disapprove of this. I'm the head of the hierarchy, and I can't condone such stupidity under our domain. Damn. I'm the taste of the hierarchy, and I don't appreciate such puerile use of a corpse. Also, lesser known fact about corpses, they smell. I'm the fists of the hierarchy, and I want to punch you because punching people is what I do. Hi. I'm Polly. Also, like... I'm super <laughs> drunk, so whatever Vera says. Yikes. Despite your disregard for stupid social conventions and school hierarchies, you feel the urge to please them. Maybe that's because that's what this game is about. <laughs> when you bought this corpse, they totally told you it was a fashion accessory, but now we're absolutely not just trying to dispose of a body. But now you're starting to feel like they might have fooled you. No time to lose. How can you convince them the corpse is actually a very hot fashion accessory? Oh... So you could say a trivia fact about fashion accessories. Most of them are worn on your head. Quick, put the corpse on your head. Shallow social creatures respond only to status. Rip the brand logo off the most high-end accessory you own and put it on the corpse. Oh, fuck. Yes. Yeah, I like that one. Do it. You quip not so wealthy. Oh. You quickly rip the logo off another piece of clothing you had with you and put it on the corpse. Wait, look. The corpse is actually a McDonald's. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Damn, you're so poor, your best piece of clothing is actually a McDonald's bag you sometimes <laughs> use. To so, you were going to eat this corpse? I mean, I'm a shadow th person. Yeah. Disgusting. Fast food companies, am I right? They're always finding new lows. Give me that. <laughs> Damien takes your course and bites its arm. He chews for a while. Hmm. You're completely right. It's disgusting. No seasoning and super dry. I bet it's not even gluten-free. So immoral. I always suspected Fee was into fast food and necrophagia. You have poor eating habits written all over your face. <laughs> Still drunk! <laughs> and so they leave you alone with your corpse. This is the worst day ever. Also, Damien was right. The corpse is kind of under-seasoned and dry. <laughs> you lose minus two fun and minus one charm. Oh, no. Oh, wow. oh I'm so not fun. Ma -ma 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 Mal's got money. Auditorium. Do you want to talk to the bathrooms? To you could get a sick item because you can probably afford anything. Ooh, a sick item. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, shouldn't you be out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyway, welcome. Wow. It's totally catty. It's totally catty. No, for sure. Oh, no, I'm oh, too wow. poor for a couple a things. Penguin mask. Cocaine. Good it's, old just, cocaine. it's just good. It's just, it's just a regular bag of cocaine. flavor. Cocaine. Tampon used by the former prom queen. You know, for good old blood rituals. Or in case you're just a creep with unhealthy obsessions. <laughs> Don't even dare ask me how I got this. Oh. Ew. Uh, let's see here. Wow, there's there's some new shit. High school social life is so hard nowadays that hiring a PR agent is totally a thing. Uh, all right, what's it gonna be, Mal? What you gonna get? Mm. Oh, they're sold out of corpses. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Yeah. Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. <laughs> a fake badass tattoo. <laughs> Oh boy. I think I need to buy the badass tattoo is the thing. Get it. Oh, right, yeah, five seconds. Tattoo. No, no, one, two, three. Oh. Fake badass tattoo. Ah, uh, good one. Don't know what that's going to do. Me neither. It felt right. All right, we're going to the library. That day you spend time in the library precedes managing your start kicker. Oh. You see lots of people with this sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice! nice. You gain plus 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and you keep only plus two money. Ah. There you are, swiping through potential monster match dates when you speak, spot Scott pacing and muttering to himself in distress. You can't bear to see someone so adorable in so much pain, so you might as well try to ease it however you can. Uh, can someone else take this? Oh, hi there, Tony. Do you think I'm adorable? 
Yes, in fact, you were literally just thinking that. Anyway, the other day I was out in the forest trying to find a quiet place in a large branch to do some pull-ups before the big sports game, when suddenly I was approached by all these talking forest animals. They were pretty big for forest animals, and I'd never seen animals that can talk like that. I mean, other than us werewolves, if you're counting us as animals? And they were just so fuzzy and adorable! But they said they were impressed by my pull-ups and my muscles and that I was even more adorable! So the nice little forest animals with giant heads made me their king! Which was really, really flattering. I just don't know anything about ruling! <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm good enough to be a king. Aw, poor Scott. It's up to you to help him rally... Uh, so Scott, a cute king is a strong ruler, physically, physically strong, or true jealousy has been inside you all along. Oh, that's totally the romance option. Oh, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I, I'm going to tell strong how, uh, strong how Scotty is. Mm -hmm. Strong? But I'm strong. When I heard strong leader before, I didn't know it meant <laughs> actual normal strong, like Scott strong. I can do 100 push-ups. I can do 200 push-ups. That's double the amount, right? Does that mean I could be a double king? What could that even mean? <laughs> Does that mean I get super king powers like flying and mind control? I'm not even sure what the logical foundation for that guess was. Or even better, I might get a tiny crown on top of my regular sized crown. What a luxury! Blessed be the day you come to understand Scott's train of thought. Well, daydreaming about my king powers and tiny crowns before doing the 200 push-ups is a bit arrogant of me. I can always ask the furries later. Furries is what I've decided to call those giant furry talking animals for short. Oh. Oh no. Wait a minute. Thanks for helping me get my confidence back, Tony. You should come meet my furry friends sometime. Well, you always wanted to hang out with Scott. Not too sure about these circumstances. But it's better than not hanging at all, out at all. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Hell yeah. All right, so we're going to trade places. Player order decided based on how early you would die during a zombie apocalypse. Start oh, debating now. Oh, boy. Uh, mm. I, I I think I'm the last one alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Fiona, I'm pretty damn sure you would last yeah, the longest. Yeah, I think you would last at least longer than Tony and I. But it's how early you would die. Right, so, so now we have to figure out which which of us, Tony or me, is going to last the least amount of time. Like, I think I could do okay. I'm just not confident that I could kill things. <sighs> like, I think I could do okay at all of the things. I think I would just, like, not be stoked about living in a world like that. Mm. So I might just decide to die. I see. Okay. Right. That's, 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 okay. So I feel like we're going with probably you then. Because okay. I, I think I'd find some reason to live. I'm not sure what that reason is. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. So All right. So me, I'm so you, Fiona. Mm -hmm. so, so then let's see here. Oh, wait. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a pick. Oh. Yeah. So do we go in order? Yeah, so of... How early? Yeah, so, so like, Mal. I'm first. Okay. And then Tony. And then Fee. Yeah. yeah. I've never gone first. Oh, no, Tony. That's okay. Maybe you can go first next time. No, no, it's it's how the game goes. Let's do this. Oh, fuck. I know exactly where I'm sitting. Hell yes. You arrive at your table to find the coven eating and Polly and Miranda screaming. Uh, Is that me? Yeah, that's you. We're under attack. Alarm, alarm. Summon the guards. Oh, whoops. They're using their bizarro mind powers on me. The cute tall one is my less attractive evil twin. She uses shades, just like me. Clearly because of the evil twin thing. We're not attacking anyone. We're eating. What do you mean less attractive? Uh, Lies, subterfuge. Ah, uh, I can feel them in my brain making me less cool and sexy. Ah! Every single lunch hour. hour. You can't allow your friends to be attacked. Quick, save them from this fiendish menace. Jo joust them in Miranda's honor or drug <laughs> their food. Oh my God. Jesus. This isn't life is strange uh, before the storm. Uh, I think my character would much rather joust. You slap a colander <laughs> on your head, a baking sheet on your chest and a jousting lance under your arm. <laughs> my hero, charge, vanquish the invaders. <laughs> Whoa, hey, we don't want any trouble. We j we'll just move over there. Oh, I really like the coven, though. Victory! The day is saved. Oh, valiantly fought noble champion. Whoa, did those three just disintegrate into a pile of turtles? Or am I just super high? Oh, no. You think that question pretty much answers itself. Let's go. I didn't get anything. Oh. 
Uh, hmm. Not gonna lie, I kind of see who this Metaton yeah. character is. Yeah! Metaton! Metaton! Yeah, let's go see who that is. You're just trying to enjoy a meal in peace when space untwists itself to reveal the interdimensional prince! <gasps> uh, most glorious hero. Thank the squid star I found you. I have been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. A riddle that has vexed me for days, nay weeks, the riddle of how to change the ringtone on my new smartphone. This interface is more tortuous than my palace labyrinth. For real? You grab the person's phone, change his ringtone to butts, butts, butts. All about uh, those butts. By the booty bros. My hero, what seems difficult to me is trivial to you. And you even guessed which ringtone I desired. A true all-time classic from the sixth dimension. There's only one way I can repay you, by bestowing upon you a superpower of your choice. I can do that. I'm the prince of another dimension. I can do all kinds of crazy things you don't know about. All kinds of crazy things besides use his phone, apparently. And he really only gives you two superpower options. Telepathy or an <laughs> ass that won't quit. Hell win. yeah! Damn. At least that'd be part of me that won't quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Ah, uh, uh, yes, the choice of a true gentle monster. Uh, with the yeah. wave of his magic wand, the prince and That says ass. Wang, Tony. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't. What? Get out of here. Magic Wang. Ew. It says Wang. Oh, wait, it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Boundless God. work ethic. Okay. By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teachers. By night, it does your homework for you. All that work makes your buns super tight. You gain plus four charm. Hell yeah. Smart and charming. Hell my stats yeah. are doing pretty good. Yeah. Damn. All right. Uh, so my options, I don't, uh, I'll hang out with these dudes. Wait, you could go to the shop. Well, no, because then Mike <laughs> out of money. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We'll do this. You approach Liam and Vera at their table, but before you can sit down, Vera holds up a hand. Pathetic. Stop. This is the cool people table. We're only cool. Cool people are allowed. I would agree with what Vera. Oh fuck, my voice is. Uh, 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 you can do it, Mal. Let me remember what Taco sounds like. No, I would agree no, with what God Vera just it. said. But we have agreeing. to be a legally distinct brand. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing that voice the whole time. I know. But agreeing is something only uncool people do. Wouldn't you agree, Vera? <sighs> Nice try, Liam, but I think we're getting away from the point. This interloper still wants to sit with us. Well, if he wants to sit with us, he is going to have to prove he is as cool as we are. But without, like, trying to prove it. Trying is so uncool. So, what's it gonna be? Uh, you could be trapped in the new world of Street Fighter 3. Well, uh, I guess I'll be going then because there's nowhere. Uh, oh. See. So. Uh, I don't have. No, don't pick that one. No. Yeah, pick the first mm -hmm. one. No. Wait, was that sarcasm? Yes. No, of course not. He was just clearly being totally sincere. There it was again. Are you two doing this on purpose? <sighs> no, why on earth would we do that? Yeah, I can't tell whether you're being sincere or ironic. It's so, so cool. cool. <laughs> Everyone knows clear and efficient communication is the least cool thing of all. You've wooed me with your open disdain for language. Your opulent disdain for language. <laughs> yes. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Exactly. Vera and Liam invite you to sit with them and chat. By the end of lunch, none of you has any idea what anyone else meant. So, so cool. cool. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I didn't get anything though. Yeah, I was just yeah. cool. Everybody chooses a food. Say well, your choice wait. out loud so the rest of the players. Before you should choose a food. You yeah. should. You should uh, listen you to should. us choose a food on the next episode yeah. of right. Monster Prom. So, if thanks. you like the video, hit the subscribe button. And we have a Patreon. Take a look at that in the end card. It's in the uh, or the video or description. Or the video description. Yeah, <laughs> 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 thanks everybody. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye.